My name's Supreme P, Anderson14 looks like he's been on a murder spree, and this is Minecraft Weekly. And welcome to this week's show, and this is the Texture Pack Spotlight. This week's Texture Pack is Royal. It's a 32x patch, so you need Optifine or the MC Patcher or another similar tool. So let's have a look at this pack. Well, there's no paintings, but everything else looks like it's got some custom stuff. Custom doors, custom glass. Here's the ores, got TNT, pumpkin, brick, bookshelves, panes. Smooth stone is pretty damn smooth, I would say. Chests have, haven't been done oddly. Let's have a look inside. No, you can see some items in there like roses, but chests haven't been done yet by the looks of it. We've got beds, torches, look. Yeah, they look like they're done. Here we've got glowstone that looks like a big block of cheese. And yeah, that's soul sand. Let's go and have a look out here. I doubt there's any crafting bench or that then again it might be changed no no different UI there no different UI there but blocks themselves look pretty cool hell yes right time to go and have a look at the natural world what it looks like with this pack the royal royal even I, I said it's royal but it's royal isn't it I'm a bit of an idiot when it comes to pronouncing so We've got some obsidian back there. We, this is wool. That's water. Water textures are a bit like that because my Optifine turned them like that because. Yeah. Never mind. So here's another house. Here's a few more buildings and structures, what it looks like in this pack. And you can see the natural world as you be walking around on the grass. You can see the trees over here. So you kind of get a feel for the texture pack. So yeah, the texture pack will be linked in the description below where you can download it. Remember you need Optifine or MC Patcher or another tool to be able to use HD packs. And yeah, that is it for the texture pack spotlight this week. So join me again next week for a new texture pack. But until then, stay tuned. It's coming up next, Skin Spotlight. And welcome to this week's skin spotlight. This week's skin is this Nyan Cat skin, yeah. So this is a pretty cool skin and if they stay still for one second I can show you. There's the back and there's the front. There's the front. Well, thank you Pample Moose for modelling that. <laughs> Unsuspectingly, but yeah, that's it for the skin spotlight this week. Join me again next week for a new skin and yeah. Coming up next, we have Creation Spotlight, so stay tuned. And welcome to this week's Creation Spotlight. This week's creation is by the Eventards, and it's called The Kingdom of Aerial Dreams. So basically, it's sort of a sky kingdom, and it's got a nice lot of cobble, brick, and lapis combined to make a pretty good looking area here. So, plenty of floating islands and plenty of random buildings dotted about it's a pretty cool little kingdom here they've built so let's go and have a look over here quickly see what else we got got some few towers got a nice little pixel art thing there yeah it's looking pretty sweet and it's pretty large as well as you can see i'm still traveling along what's this over here you never know when you're at the edge because the chunks but yeah this looks pretty damn cool I've got to say so this is the creation spotlight for this week it's the kingdom of aerial dreams by the eventards on planet minecraft and the links in the description below where you can get it so that's it for the creation spotlight this week join me again next week for a new creation stay tuned because coming up next we've got the minecraft news yeah now it's time for this week's Minecraft news, yeah! So this week there's some updates, there's actually a snapshot. Snapshot 12W32A, yeah! So what's new in this snapshot? Well, villagers will now react posit positively on new trades and negatively if you hurt them. So don't go around attacking villagers if you want to trade. 
Also, villagers will not remove trades, but trading something else may be required to renew the old ones. Pretty cool. And... Zombie and skeletons now have equipment, depending on difficulty. And apparently there's a new type of zombie too. And also there's the command block's been added, but it's not craftable or in the creative UI yet. And there's a surprise block. Yes, they've added a surprise block. Not sure what it is. I'm sure you will find out. So that's the news for the snapshot. They're all, and all this is going towards 1.4, but they're also going to be developing 1.3.2, which is going to be be no new stuff just a load of bug fixes so watch out for that soon as well so yeah that's pretty much it for the minecraft news this week join me again next week for some more minecraft news coming up next though we have the seed spotlights and welcome to this week's seed spotlight this week's seed is a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q r s t u v w x y and z because someone wanted that to be the seed of the week and it was sent in by Razorbram Fex. If that's right, yep. So, yeah, this map turns out to be another one of them survival island type maps. At least you get a tree, you get some reeds, and you also get a ravine. All on this small island. Which is pretty cool. So, yeah, this is the, the seed with the new rubbish gravel in it. So, yeah. Link of... There won't be a link in the description. Well, the seed will be in the description. And also, that is it for the Seed Spotlight and the show this week. So, all the links from everything I've talked about today will be in the description below. And, yeah. Looks like snapshots are coming again for 1.4. And looks like there'll be a 1.3.2. So... Stay tuned for stuff on that, and yeah, join me again next week for a new Minecraft Weekly, so thanks for watching, remember to give me a like, and a comment, and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you next week, thanks for watching, goodbye.